Hello. I am at my friend Lynn's house out on Lake Wiley. Many of you have seen me do videos from here before. It's so beautiful. Let me show you. The sun is just beginning to set, so I came out here to make myself finish writing the book. So send me any extra writing vibes you have. And my tip for this week is I've seen several kids lately with asthma. Like I have told you before, everything seems to come in waves. And with asthma, it's an inflammatory condition. Kids' immune system, it's almost like they're hyper-responsive. That's the way I've always thought of it anyway. So what happens is that a child will get either a virus or exposed to their allergen or whatever triggers their wheezing. Sometimes it's um, secondhand smoke and then their body says whoosh and sends this big whoosh of white blood cells to the lungs. The treatments that we use in conventional medicine are aimed at decreasing inflammation in their little system. So we do the inhaled steroids. Sometimes we'll do an antihistamine or a medication called Zincolaire. And when we combine the integrative approach with asthma, I have seen it have amazing results. So what we do from the integrative side of it, we always continue the really great conventional medication that we need because we want to preserve the kids' lung functions. We want to make sure that when they are 25 and 30, they have great lung function. And if we don't do the medications when they're needed, we run the risk of compromising their um, lung function later on in life. So that's why we always want to make sure that we're doing you know, what the, the conventional things that we know to do. And then from the integrative side, we of course do an anti-inflammatory diet, which often for my patients means we go off of dairy and we start to increase fats, 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 right? Things like avocado, almonds, walnuts, chia seed, hemp seed, flax seed. If the family eats meat, we do grass-fed beef and um, lamb, our fattier meats. Um, then we typically add an omega-3 fat in with a supplement. We do probiotics and or fermented foods, and then we do a whole food supplement, and of course vitamin D, and then if we need to, we do allergy testing if it hasn't already been done to identify what their other triggers are. Those things are, indoor allergens are cats, dogs, dust mites, cockroaches, and molds, and then the outdoor allergens are also mold, and then trees, pollens, grasses, weeds, things like that. So it's important to identify what those are because we wanna make sure that we decrease their exposure to them. And we've had phenomenal results with kiddos over the years. So if your child has asthma, it's really important to look at the big picture of systemic inflammation and to decrease that so that the medications that we do need to use will have the best possible effect at the lowest possible dose with the least side effect. All right, that is my tip for the day. I hope that makes sense. And you all have a great day. And if you think that this information might help anyone else, please feel free to forward it along. And my website is SheilaKilbane.com. And this is Sheila Kilbane, um, Integrative Pediatrician in Charlotte, North Carolina.